Hello and welcome back to more Let's Play My Little Investigations. I am the Max Few Trades. I just threw my neck out. Ow, okay, in the last part we learned secrets kept by some of the best known ponies ever known to mankind and we met up with Apple Bloom again and she's like, hey, I'll help you out this time because we got all of our, our things crossed and we all want to help Scootaloo out so we'll just work together and we'll do stuff and, you know, we talk to Rainbow Dash a lot, you know, best pony, best pony. And, uh, you know, it was very, it was very adorable and kind, and I got hit over the head with the feels bat like nobody's business. And in this part, we should be walking over to the Kitty Mark Crusaders Clubhouse and talk to Scootaloo, get this whole, you know, alleged gem thievery thing all sorted out. However, I have been putting this off far too long. I have got to speak to this... Oh my god, look at this OC. I just don't even, I gotta talk to her. What is her story? Who is she? Why is she here? Talk to me. Oh. My name is Twilight Sparkle. Are you new in town? I don't think I've ever seen you before. Yeah, you wouldn't unless you go to DeviantArt. Well, duh. I'm a time traveler. Name's Abby Sprocket. Of course you are! Oh, you're not even trying. Uh, what now? <laughs> I've seen weird introductions before, but sheesh. She's also cockney, apparently. This is just all... This is seven different types of awesome. A time traveler. But my time machine broke down, so now I'm kind of stuck here. But now I've lost. So I'm trying to make a living as best as I can. Last place I got here, although a little rusty, if I may say so. Yeah, well, we're not all from the future, now are we? Breathe, Twilight. <sighs> Breathe. So, how exactly are you a time traveler? Time travel spells are incredibly high level. I mean, I only managed to go back in time a week, and even then I only had less than a minute! Mm-hmm, yes, well, that would be because... You know, she has powers as an OC. That's just how she rolls. Oh, Twilight, you need to think outside the box. You better to know how the impossible becomes possible. Or something like that. Momento was a bit of a cute. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that I built a time machine, and, well, now I'm here. Yeah, okay, you're definitely not a crazy pony at all. Uh-huh. And I'm secretly a robot. With mysterious powers. You know what? I can believe that. Really? Huh. I didn't think they had robots in this age. Hold on. Let me get some tools and open you up and have a look at how you work. Yeah, oh no, we're not going to be doing that. Ah! No, 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 no. I was joking. Sheesh. Mm. Oh? Huh. You had me convinced with how robotic you were acting. But I'm foul! No! Can I get some ice for that burn? <sighs> Even ponies from the future don't give me of course they don't. All right, well, you served absolutely no purpose whatsoever. Uh, but you know what? You were everything I expected you to be and more. Now, I suppose any normal person would be like, yeah, what's going on with this crowd exactly? So what is going on with this crowd? Are you just a roadblock or what? What's this crowd all about? I didn't know there was an event today. You well, know, to be honest, you shouldn't be surprised. Ponyville seems to hold a new event every other week. They're having an apple eating contest. Of course they are. Yeah, that's way in the lead. Of course she is. That explains why we haven't seen her around. Makes sense. Applejack! Applejack! It's very exciting, I admit. Is it healthy for her to be eating that many apples? I don't know. I'm pretty sure she can eat as many as she wants, honestly. Of course it is, Twy. Why, it's an apple family tradition to be the best at apple eating. We've been doing this for generations! Yeah, probably if it has anything to do with apples, they're all about it. That's an oddly specific tradition. Everything they do is oddly specific. You've known them plenty long enough to know that. Come on, Twy! Where's your sense of competition? Ain't you enthused at all about this? Nope. Well, sure. I like a healthy competition, just, you know, more mental. Like, say, chess or trivia. Yeah, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm more on Twilight's side there. Physicals and eating things, none of that's good for me. Yeah, really as boring as they say, Twy. Oh, well, ain't that nice. Thanks, Applebaum. Fine, fine, fine. Well, okay. We've piqued my curiosity, and I now know what all the hubbub -ub is all about up in here, and I chatted with an OC and all that good stuff. How about we actually go talk to Scootaloo now? That would probably be a pretty darn good idea, if I do say so. We just gotta make our way over there as soon as this loading screen. Yeah, okay, there we go. And once again, the music is infinitely better. So much awesome, sweetie Belle. Good day. Now please get out of my way. I have Apple Bloom. This grants me access. So, 
know about the noise in the clubhouse. It I don't rummaging. suppose I could go in and have a look? You don't have a choice in the matter. Uh, sorry, Twilight, but the clubhouse is for official <laughs> crusader business only. Yeah, well... No adult ponies allowed, except Applejack, sometimes, since she owns the farm and everything. Well, that just goes without saying. Ugh, Apple Bloom, help me out here. Also, is Twilight actually an adult pony? I mean, I know she lives on her own and everything, but with the whole learning about friendship thing, kind of implies a bit younger than that. I was always assuming maybe kind of a teenager or something, but eh, whatever. Oh, it's all right, Sweetie Belle. I've made Twilight here an honorary Cutie Mark Crusader for today. Only today. But she has a Cutie Mark. Or does she? I know. That's what makes her honorary. Duh. <laughs> oh, okay then. You are an you are just a born follower, aren't you, Sweetie Belle? <laughs> Thanks, Sweetie Belle. Not an ounce of authority inside her body. Right, well, at least she got out of the way. All is real with the world. Let us do this thing. And you know, Scootle away, I found you. What is the biz? Ugh! Apple Bloom, I thought I told you not to let any non crusaders in here. We've already gone over this. I'm an honorary member. Oh, don't you worry about that, Scootaloo. I made Twy here an honorary crusader for today. Yeah. You what? Yeah, I know, right? Uh, Apple Bloom, that's not something you just do on your own. Well, she is the leader, and you're more of a subordinate, so I don't think you really get much of a say in the matter, now do you? Oh, but she found your ribbon. Ain't it worth something? I certainly hope so. She... she did? Really? Really? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, 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 give it here! Okay, I'm probably gonna have to end up, like, keeping this from her so she'll talk. Is that how this is gonna go? Hold your horses there, Scootaloo. First, I have a few things to ask about, if I may. Wouldn't the term hold your horses have an incredibly different meaning in pony society? I don't know, I just feel like they should come up with a different phrase for that. Ugh, really, Twilight? You want this ribbon back, right? Of course. Fine, fine, make it quick! Also, this is probably the best impersonator so far. Props to Scootaloo VA. Loading screens! The video game! Alright, now, we must speak. Also, nice Scootaloo, Rainbow Dash poster, I want one. I have to ask you about last night. It's true! Oh, uh, last night? Yeah, this is gonna take a while to get the information out of her, but I've got all night. Let's do it. Yes, last night. Or, more specifically, where you were last night. Mm hmm I don't know what you're talking about, Twilight. <sighs> Same runaround we've gotten from the last two pones. Oh, I think you do, Scootaloo. I've already talked to Apple Bloom about some of it. Apple Bloom? What? Ugh. What did she say, Twilight? Pretty much everything that she could ever possibly know. I know that you three were around Town Square. Yeah. Okay, didn't really finish that sentence there, but whatever. So, perhaps we should start there. Mm-hmm. I mean, all that I really need to do is to find out that you're not a jewel thief. This really shouldn't be too tough. You're like, what, the equivalental age of seven? This should be a closed book case, okay? I mean, come on. Is everything all right, Twilight? Well, yes. It's just that right around here is usually when... Hi! Oh, okay, there we go. Right on schedule. <laughs> Ah, fun. Oh my gosh, Twilight, this is exciting! You finally come across a... Conversation! How's this different than the interrogations I've done so far? Uh-huh. Now, these are a whole lot like interrogations, except they're longer and cooler! Yeah, okay. Time, when you totally present some evidence and show that pony who's boss, they may just keep on coming. They're not gonna give in right away. That wouldn't be any fun. Well, fair enough. Also, did you come through the window? Because that would be a funny mental image to me. Oh no, it'd be so terrible if some pony around here actually just told me something. Well, to be fair, yeah, that would make things easier, but at the same time, where's the challenge? Where's the intrigue? Basically, you're gonna soon enough see multiple topics, and you gotta bring each of them to a conclusion before you finally get to the bottom of things! Oh boy. Basically, you gotta get to the middle of a jelly donut to get to the sweet taste. That's actually a pretty good metaphor. Well, I can do that. But uh-oh! Here's a part that might be called frowny-wowny. 
if you present the wrong evidence too many times, well, then it's all over, Buster. Oh, fantastic. Well, never gonna tell you anything. Well, until you reset the game or something. But, wait, what? What do I do then? Uh -huh. Oh, well, then you just start over. Start over? Yeah, you can just start the conversation all over again like you never even did anything to begin with. Well, yeah. You just, like, try again from the screen. And the confrontation will start back over like nothing ever happened. Time warp technology! Pinky, I don't think conversations work that way. They do in this game, speak. <sighs> it's like she doesn't even know this is a video game. Oh. Well, good luck! I'm rooting for you. As you typically are. Of course she is, she's Pinky. <sighs> yes. Anyway. Yes, she is. We kind of got more important things to talk about right now. Hey! And now she's what back again. Alright. You also can't leave or save the game once the confrontation starts. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense, but I will abide to your rules. But don't worry. You can't start up when you don't have everything you need. Super convenient, right? I guess. Yeah. That'd be no fun at all. Oh, yeah. Okie dokie dokie. Now that's everything. Bye! Pinky, you gotta stop hanging out with Norse gods of chaos, okay? I have everything I need for this? Well, that's a start, I guess. I'm assuming. But now it's time to put everything together. Now we get to watch me truly fail. Anyways, Scootaloo, about last night. Alright. And your comedy routine. It was probably totally ballin'. Got a bit of lag there. Whoopsie. A secret. But yeah, we've been working on a comedy routine for Rarity's birthday. I imagine you already heard that much from Apple Blabbermouth. Indeed. We started pretty late in the evening around Town Square, so we could be there when there weren't any ponies around. Makes sense. We made some pretty good progress, if I do say so myself. I'll take I mean, your word for I it. I hope we did, considering we were there for, like, over an hour. That's really not that long amount of time, but okay, I guess it is for a child. And that's about it. We're still not there yet, but I think we're getting there. Not sure why you were wondering about this, but there it is. Yeah, okay, you're totally not dodging the topic altogether. Just a minute. Oh, just, uh, curiosity. It never killed the pony, right? I don't know. Do Pony Society have mafias? Please stop glaring at me like that, Scootaloo. The Scootaloo will glare at anything she chooses. Scootaloo is a turtle. Scootaloo is being awfully vague here. Yeah, no duh. And given what I know already, I have a feeling I know why. Well, no duh! I'm gonna have to try to make her be more specific if I have a hope of getting it somewhere. All right, fine. Let's actually start pressing for information on everything and see if I can, I guess, find any holes to rip into. Just a minute. Hey, I didn't tell her right away, Scootaloo. She used, like, her big detective brain on me. I didn't stand a chance. It's true. I am very impressive. I have no idea if that was a compliment or sarcasm. Mm -hmm. So, I'll take it as the former. Yeah, that's what I'd do. Out of curiosity, why Rarity's birthday? I can see you doing something like this for Cheerilee, but this is different. I assume because it was the closest birthday in proximity to when they got this idea that comedy would be their special talent. That's just my guess. Sweetie Belle's idea. Of course it was. She wanted to do something for her sister and somehow roped us into this. No, well, it's pretty easy to convince you two to do anything, honestly. I told her that under no circumstances were we going to do something all touchy-feely for Rarity, so mm -hmm. that was kind of a compromise. All right. We haven't done comedy in a while, so it seemed like an okay idea to me. I guess. All right. Well, when were you practicing this comedy routine? We started pretty late. Let's in the see day. here. I sure hope I'm not subjected to any of their material, because I'm going to just say right now it's most likely terrible. All right. Uh, there really isn't anything in there just, uh, for over an hour. Okay, that, that'll do something. What's up in here? Out of curiosity. May I ask what sort of comedy routine this is? Yeah, okay, see, that's exactly what I was trying to avoid talking about. Thanks a lot, Twilight. You're really helping out. Oh, God. No. Okay, thank you, Scootaloo. Please continue to be tight-lipped about this. You already know too much, Twilight. You're not getting one more peep out of me. It's supposed to be a surprise. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Twilight, we're on to you. I ain't telling you one more bit. We 
don't need a double team here right now. I'm talking to Scootaloo. Apple Bloom, you stay out of this. Yeah, and I'm totally not gonna tell you that I designed costumes for it. Thank you, Sweetie Belle. Also, please exit out of the window as I assume you came from. Sweetie Belle? Wait, if you're in here... No one's guarding the door. Ha-ha! Oh, oh, right, right, right! Note to self. Tartarus have no fury like a cutie mark crusader scorn. I have no idea what a Tartarus is. And that's about it. We're still not there yet, but I... Okay, let's see. We're we getting there. Not sure why we we're wondering about this. Okay, so obviously I've got to present some kind of evidence to support the idea that she was doing something else, obviously. Okay, what do I have in my inventory? It's been a little while since I've seen. Okay, Rainbow Dash's advice. Apple Bloom's testimony. I don't know where Scootaloo... Okay, that'll work. Hmm. Scootaloo? I'm afraid this evidence proves that you're not telling me the whole truth here. And the ambiguity of Twilight's sentence means I used the wrong evidence in the wrong sentence. Huh? I don't follow. As you shouldn't, as I apparently am not good at this. Are you feeling okay, Twilight? No, I'm feeling kind of stupid, if that's what you're talking about. Ugh. Sorry. Oh boy. You're not rushing things. I need to think it over and make sure I've got all the information I need. Yeah, well, I don't have a whole lot of time. And that's about okay, fine. Not sure why you're curious about this. Well, obviously, I gotta point it out at some point. I mean, over for an hour. We started pretty late in the evening, town square. Okay, hang on. Well, let me take. No, that's not what I wanted at all. No, 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 no. What happened after you started? Oh, well, there you go. Just working on that routine? Nothing else? I can't believe the one thing I decided to not press info on turned out to be the most important one. Fantastic! Go me! Well, yeah. Can't say we did much else. Hmm. Can't see much out of place so far, at least. Yeah, okay, sure. All right. Do you think you could tell me what you did do? After we got okay, started, okay, cool. we got into our routine pretty heavily. Heck, we were working on it nonstop until we called it a night. Okay, thank you. All right, so I pressed for info, and that got me a new sentence, which I will now press for info again, just to make sure that there isn't another escalating tirade that I need to go down, because it's very possible. Info pressing, go! <laughs> You didn't do anything else until you called it a night? Lies. Nothing at all? Filthy lies. Adorable lies, but filthy nonetheless. That's what I just said, Twilight. Hmm. Didn't Apple Bloom say something about this? Yeah, okay, make it more glaringly obvious for me. I did it. I'm not very good at this. Shut up. Okay, going back. We started it. Da, 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 da. No, thank you. Pres you present evidence. No, evidence. Evidence. This is what we want. Evidence. Apple Bloom, present. Hmm. Wait, how is this wrong? I'm afraid How is that wrong? How are you even? Oh my god, okay. Not stop until we call for a night, and apparently that's not where I want to put it. That doesn't make any sense for over now. Why do I keep pushing buttons I don't mean to? Ugh. Okay. Yeah, I know she's being vague. Alright, best place to attach this. It was supposed to be a secret, but yeah, there's a comedy, blah, 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 blabbermouth. We stayed pretty late in the evening, and as soon as you get to one that blah, blah, after we got started, we got to repeat it, we were already trying to happen, and then we called it a night. Present evidence! That- how is that- that doesn't make any- Wait, Oh, guess I put it in the wrong place. My bad! Stop, I'm afraid. Huh? Apple Bloom is gonna get a stern tongue lashing because of this, I assure you. I happen to know that you three took a break part of the way through your practice session. And I also happen to know that neither Apple Bloom nor Sweetie Belle knew where you were during that time. And the music is starting to get much more epic, so that means I'm on the right track. Apple Bloom! Sorry, Scootaloo. Well, what about it? Huh? Maybe we did take a break and I went off somewhere else. What about it? Doesn't mean anything. It's not like you know where I was. Oh, now is that the case. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Advice to the profile. Do I just... Apple Bloom's cape, no, to profiles. What do I show? Rarity? I mean. Okay, hang on. White strands of hair, likely from Apple Bloom's one of the girls, the next tire tracks, probably the cause of the rider's swerve. That's definitely gonna play a role in this, but is that what I need to use right now? Let's see. Apple Bloom's testimony isn't gonna work anymore. Uh, do something really dumb in here for the little fly. What are you doing? No, that's not gonna help me here. I guess that kind of makes sense. I, I only got- I only have one choice here, and it's probably wrong, but... Oh dang, we got it right! I think I have a pretty good idea of where you were. I, I can't believe it, I'm actually winning mind games with a small child. This is so beyond anything I thought I was capable of. What? How? 
Detective work. I talked to Rarity earlier and learned that she witnessed an orange and purple pony running out the door after she discovered her home had been ransacked and her prized jewels stolen. And I also found part of this ribbon just outside the window to her petite. It all comes together. It's like a junior jumble. Not to mention there were tire tracks that looked suspiciously like your scooters, leading directly to that window. How many tire tracks does Scootaloo leave across town? Sounding familiar yet, Scootaloo? <laughs> and, oh, well, I sure hope I didn't actually hit her. That would be messed up. Actually, no. Can't say it is. Uh, what? Hmm. Come on, Twilight! None of that points to me! Listen to yourself! I jumped through her window to break in? I mean, that's gonna hurt! Not to mention make a lot of noise! It's true, which is why it was an accident, and this is where I bring up the cat. And why in the world would I steal anything from some pony whose sister I'm friends with? Look, that makes no sense! No, of course it doesn't! That's why you're innocent! Shut up, I'm trying to help you! All you got is circumstantial evidence! I'm surprised you know a word that big. I don't know whether to be annoyed by her stubbornness, or impressed by the fact that she correctly used the phrase circumstantial evidence in a sentence. And there we go! The game is making the jokes for me. Stay cool, Twilight. You already know what you need here. You just need to find ways to prove it to her. Alright, just tell me where to point out the tire tracks. Honestly, Twilight, I can't believe this! You're accusing me of stealing from my best friend's sister? What's gotten into you? I am most definitely not accusing you of that. Just a minute! Scootaloo, I'm not accusing you of anything. I'm simply stating facts. Please, calm down and trust me on this. <laughs> I'm not gonna calm down when you're talking like this! Give me a break, Twilight! I just don't understand why she's being so defensive about this. I mean, granted, Twilight isn't just outright stating if you tell me everything possible, I'll be able to protect you from this sort of evidence and... You won't go and- you, nothing bad will happen. It's easy. This is easy. You just gotta tell me what you know. That way I can prove that you didn't do it. Come on. Give me one good reason why I'd steal from her. No, not even just from her. From any pony. Yeah, okay. You definitely would not. I got that much of- I, I know this, okay? I didn't steal anything, Twilight. I'm not a thief, and you can't prove otherwise. Which is exactly why I'm not trying to. Okay. What, do I actually need to try and make- do I actually have to- okay. Do I have to use my evidence to try and make it actually seem like she is the culprit? Because that's kind of harsh. But I suppose I could do that. If I remember correctly. Do something really super daring for you and your friends. You wanna fly? Yep, that just might be... Like, I don't want to- I don't want to do this! Hang on, I, I gotta make sure I cover all angles before I do something like that. Just a minute. Ugh, listen to me, Scootaloo. I'm not saying you stole from her, or any pony else. If you aren't, then why are you talking all about how Rarity saw me and how I broke her window, huh? Because you did! Because others are going to think you actually did it, Scootaloo. At face value, it looks like an awfully high-profile heist. And at the same time, Twilight, I don't know why you didn't directly say that to her. I didn't steal anything, Twilight! I'm not a thief, and you can't... Okay, can't prove otherwise. I'm gonna regret doing this! Wait a second. Oh boy. All right. This is not going to end well. All right, what? I can, in fact, provide a motive for why you'd want to steal Rarity's prize jewel. This is messed up, Twilight. We shouldn't have had to go down this road. Uh-huh. Scootaloo, I know that a short while ago, Rainbow Dash gave you a very special ribbon of hers and told you a few choice words. Among those, however, was the instruction that you should do something very daring for you and your friends. Yeah, I got a sweating horse. I trust you know where I'm going with this. I don't know why we have to do this. This just seems wrong. If you really did do a bold heist of Rarity's boutique in the middle of the night to steal her most precious jewel, that would certainly be awfully daring. Okay, you know what? Actually, I think I do understand where we're going with this. If we make her... If we make her think that we genuinely have her as a genuine suspect, that she actually did steal the gem, then she would be forced to defend herself, and then we could probably make more progress. Uh, what? No, Twilight, no! You got it all wrong! That wasn't it at all! Is that so? Then would you mind elaborating as to how it could be wrong, exactly? After she said that, I started practicing scooter tricks, not theft! Stealing things from ponies is so uncool, Twilight! I never! I know you wouldn't. You 
You remember those tricks that Rainbow Dash did at the best young flyer competition, right? I had to try one of those out! Yeah, okay, I'm pretty sure everything that she did was completely impossible on a scooter, but good on you for trying! Of course I can fly, so, well, I kinda have to make do with what I can do. You remember that trick where she spun clouds around, right? So awesome! Undeniable, it was awesome. Well, not as awesome as the Sonic Rain Boom, of course, but I figured, you know, maybe I'd work up to that. Yeah, I'm sure you could totally destroy the visible light spectrum on a scooter. The carousel fatigue's nice and round, so I've been practicing going around it at top speed. I'm getting pretty good at it. I imagine you were. Anyway, the point is, that was not what I had in mind when she gave me that advice. At all. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, Scootaloo. I believe you. And okay, I guess apparently that's crucial evidence for some reason. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could have inferred that, but alright, sure. Come on, Twilight! Even you have to admit that the story you're telling here sounds awfully far-fetched. Yes, indeed it does. First, there's the window itself. I mean, really, Twilight? You're going to claim that I rolled directly towards the window and crashed through it? Why in the hoop would I do that? Because you were trying to avoid a cat? Hmm. Wait, that's wrong! I know it sounds far-fetched, Scootaloo, but this shows that it's the truth. Twilight, quit wasting my time. <sighs> that really seemed like the best point to use it. I really gotta stop rushing things. <sighs> okay, sorry. Alright, fine, we'll press for information. Okay. Fine, First fine, fine. We'll take this the long and studious way. route. First, there's... Okay, fine. Press for info. Just a minute. I don't know, Scootaloo. Why don't you tell me why you do that? Well, I... Ugh. Nice try, Twilight. Worth the shot. Yes, it was. Second, if all the rarity said was what color the pony was, then that could have been any pony. We're pretty colorful, you know. Unless you have evidence that only I could have fit that description. Uh, I think I do. I think it was the cape. But at the same time, I don't want to just throw the cape at you, because that very well could be completely wrong. So, info press! Just a minute. Scootaloo, what other pony around here is orange and purple? Yeah, she really does have a point. I've spent a lot of time looking at background horses, and none of them is that exact combo. Well, you're pretty purple, Twilight, and Applejack sure is orange. Who's to say that you two didn't team up to rob Rarity, huh? Okay, but will that... Sort of makes sense, I guess. Note to self, Phillies have hyperactive imaginations. Yes, they do, and they're all so awesome that way. Really, this is some pretty darn weak evidence, Twilight. I don't know what you did to make the others talk, but if this is your best, I'm not impressed. Okay, so what on earth... I have all of the evidence I need, I just need to figure out the best place to put them. We are not, Scootaloo. It's what the team from Canterlot is going to have to work from if they arrive before this is resolved. Mentioning that to everyone else has somehow managed to make them talk, so hopefully it works the same here. And trust me, they aren't as interested in the genuine truth as I am. That would require time and effort. I relate. Please, Twilight, if they're as dense as I remember them being, you really think that they're gonna be able to do anything at all? Oh, well, so true. <sighs> That's not a chance I want to take. And even if they do get nowhere, then the real thief is still at large. So, are you going to talk to me or not? I just can't. Why so not? I... I... Why can't you talk to me? This makes no sense. <sighs> Guess we're doing this the hard way. Of course we are. As usual. Do I have to make her feel bad again? <sighs> I don't think I'm going to get anywhere here without some solid evidence. I must be able to answer one of these questions she's asking. Yes, I totally the can. Is which? <sighs> okay, fine. I'll take a closer look at them. All right, first, there's the window itself. I mean, okay, you're going to claim that I rode directly towards the window and crashed through it. Why in the would you do that? Okay. Maybe, okay. I presented this, I presented the, the chire tracks and the hair. Maybe I can present opalescence? Hmm. Nope, that didn't work. Oh, no. fantastic. Got it wrong again. Oh, great, 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 great. Okay. I only have one more shot before I do everything all over again, and I don't want none of that. Okay, I've already said this to you, unless you have evidence. Okay, this is my only other hunch. If it doesn't work, then we're done for. Hmm. Nope, got it wrong. I know it sounds and <sighs> Twilight, busted through. I don't know what you're on about, but I don't like it, and you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. It's true. I'm completely babbling, <laughs> completely uselessly at this point. But, no, wait. No offense, but if you had a point to make, 
You'd have made it by now. Now, if you don't mind, this clubhouse is for cutie my crusaders only. And your honorary status is over. <sighs> All right. Let's try again. This. My first big test as an investigator, and I completely blew it. It's not your fault, Twilight. I'm just that bad at this. I'm really bad at this. Unless... Yeah, okay. Use that weird time travel ability that we somehow have. No, I can't give up. I promised both Verity and Applebloom that I'd get to the bottom of this, and I will. I just... I just need to rethink things. Yeah, of course. Back over everything. Here goes. I have to find the truth, no matter what. It was supposed to be... Okay, now I've got to start all over again. Super fast forward to where I get to where I was. Good derp! Oh, oh, please let this work, please let this work, please let this work. Okay, all right, if you present the description, the cape doesn't work, obviously, that's Apple Blooms. Yada, 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 the ribbon, the ribbon was there! Hmm. And I got it wrong, oh my god, okay. There we go, apparently it was the trick. Actually, I'm not going to claim that you rode directly towards the window, because that's not what happened. <sighs> I always have the right idea, but I never know how to get to where I'm trying to go. Well, then what? You said it yourself. You've been practicing going around the carousel of the teak at top speed. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. What do you think might happen if, say, opalescence were to suddenly be in the way? We did find her hair near the tire marks, after all. At the same time, though, cats do shed a lot, so that's not really concrete evidence, but whatever. You'd have to swerve pretty hard to avoid hitting her, right? Hard enough that you might leave tire marks and lose control of your scooter. Yeah, but also that raises the question, why didn't she try and swerve in the other direction that wasn't a window? That's a good question. And then perhaps crash and be launched accidentally through the window of her boutique? I mean, then, you know, you're just accidentally vandalizing. That's easily fixable. Am I getting warm, Scootaloo? God, I hope so. Otherwise, I've got nothing left. Oh, there we go. Bullseye. Can't get warmer than that. Awesome. Enough already. I give. Do you think now you might be willing to finally tell me what happened that night? God, I hope so. Apple Bloom? Well, I can help you, Scootaloo. I can just feel it. And you didn't say that at the beginning of this conversation. Why? <sighs> all right, all right. No more running, hiding, or dodging. I'll just give it to you straight. I hope what so. What else to do now, right? I suppose so. Celebratory music, apparently. You already know most of it, so, well, I won't bore you with those details. Thank you. Yeah, I was practicing that trick. Bulba got in front of me. I tried to avoid her, and wham! Before I knew it, I was flying through that window. The only time you've ever flown. Whoa, did I just go there? Sorry, didn't mean to. Don't be sad. I, um, I guess the star from my ribbon got caught on something was torn off when I did. Apparently. Honestly, I didn't see much when I was there. I saw some dark figures, who I think got startled when I crashed through the window. Diamond dogs. They ran away pretty quickly after I did. I heard one of them trip, at which point I heard a, well, a pretty scary growl and a yelp, as well as the sound of, well, something getting ripped. By a claw, I guess? Hmm. It didn't take me long to figure out what was going on and that I needed to get the heck out of here, so I ran as quickly as I could. Alright. And, well, that's about it, really. Yeah, that's just about as much as I would expect. Actually, that was far more than I expected. I totally forgot about the scooter when I left since I was in such a panic, so I came back and got it later. I hadn't actually thought about what happened to your scooter until just now. Honestly, and I assumed she took it initially. Up? It's strange, Twilight. I feel like there are thousands of ponies somewhere out there, watching us, looking closely for missing information, and judging us harshly if they find any. Okay, that's actually kind of funny. <laughs> that's oddly specific. Apparently, Scootaloo has some sort of, I guess, trans-dimensional awareness. That's very unfortunate. Call it a Philly's instinct. Yeah, okay, we'll call it that. Well, thanks, Scootaloo. I think it's about time I paid the Carousel Boutique a second look. Yeah, you know what? In retrospect, we probably should have walked in there initially to survey the crime scene. That's generally what actual detectives would have done to initially, but, uh... I guess we decided to omit that entirely. Oh, and before I forget, 
Here's your ribbon back. Sorry to have used it as a bit of a bargaining chip. <laughs> now be adorable! Yay! <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Uh, and I no longer have a partner. That's okay, Apple Bloom wasn't very useful. Love that music. So are we done here? I think we are. Yes, we are! All right, then! So we finally got to Scootaloo, and we finally managed to say some things, and we got some information, and now, finally, at long last, we might actually get to the bottom of all of this and clear her good filly name. In the next part, we shall go back to the Carousel Boutique and, I guess, see if we can find any evidence of the crime that will lead us to where we need to go. Who knows? It's very possible. Anyway, in the meantime, I'll walk around in circles, and I'll see you guys next time.